Let's go to another category of products that we often use at home. These are detergents and cleaners. The European Commission estimates that detergents and cleaners contribute around 200 tons of microplastics per year. But, of course, this estimate can be taken just as a framework. We can see from this table that solid surface cleaners, such as glass ceramic cleaners, which contain fine polyurethane powder, contribute the most to the intake of microplastics. That is, microbeads. I found that this polymer powder represents up to 5% of some product's volume or mass. Then we have toilet cleaners for sanitary facilities, where the contribution of microplastics seems to be minor, somewhere around 12 tons per year. I found that about 10% of products in this category contain microplastics. The share has been significantly reduced in recent years. Then we have other cleaners, stainless steel cleaners, and maybe other specific cleaners, oven cleaners, stain removers, and similar, perhaps less frequently used than other general ones. We can see that all these products available on the market contain microplastic components. Luckily, these quantities are relatively small. But what are these microplastic components? These are rheology modifiers. These are substances that increase or change the viscosity of a product. When we have a product in hand, this means how the contents will flow out of the packaging, how hard we will have to squeeze and what force we will use when using the product, how the product will smear, and what will happen after its application. However, if we look at bathroom cleaners, this information could not be found in most cases. In any case, polyethylene microbeads are primarily used for such purposes. The function of microplastics is apparent in this category of products. They serve as cleaning abrasives and rheology modifiers that improve properties such as viscosity, cohesion, and structure, possibly with some additive such as glitter, which also contributes to aesthetics. In my little research, I found only one cleaner where it says that it contains microbeads on its packaging. However, when we look at the declarations of such products, they usually do not define which polymer the products include, or they describe the added components as non-ionic surfactants. These are substances that enable cleaning features. Here I show one example of a cleaning product with a label. You should pay attention to this label. In the previous year, in 2021, the European Commission significantly tightened and changed the conditions for products such as detergents and cleaners to obtain this label. What exactly are these criteria? One of the critical criteria is that the product does not contain any microplastics. It should not contain any nanomaterials, hormone disruptors, and other substances, including allergens. The Commission is stringent also about allergens. And the product must contain completely biodegradable ingredients. The Commission has also become very strict in proving the sustainable origin of palm oil, therefore also in terms of the supply chain and testing of such cleaners. So in the future, you should pay attention to this label when choosing the right product.